Welcome to this edition of On the Scene. I'm your host, Tim Kelly. On today's program, we're going to take you inside the Wellyville Community Center and really showcase this great facility and all the offerings and opportunities that are available for you to take advantage of. Stay tuned. Welcome back to On the Scene. We're now coming to you from inside the Wellyville Community Center, and we're joined by two very special guests. We have Tamara Brown, who is a recreation supervisor, and Jasmine Clark, who is a recreation specialist. Ladies, thanks for joining us today. You're welcome. You. Well, we're at Wellyville. Uh, of course, the center, we had the ribbon cutting just a few days ago, so again, everything still smells and looks very, very new. But, you know, let's talk about what this facility really is all about. I mean, it's called a community center. Yes, yes it has a recreation component, but it's also a part of the community. And that community is both, you know, the area of Whaleyville as well as the city of Suffolk at large. So let's talk about kind of just an overview about what kind of facility we have here now in the city of Suffolk. Awesome. That's the one word that I can say about this facility. Brand new. We're here for the community. We're going to provide some awesome programs. Mm -hmm. We have awesome staff here. Um, this facility is going to basically be the be it all. You know, when we came out for National Night Out, the public, we did a survey. Mm -hmm. And the one thing that this community said was they haven't had anything since the bank closed. Right. So we are here to provide what the bank, since the bank has closed, <laughs> we're going to offer everything under the sun. Good deal. Good deal. Mm -hmm. Now, of course, when we, we talk about the community center, it really offers things for people of all ages, yes. you know, from the youngest to the oldest. Everybody's mm -hmm. covered here. And I think that's one of the things we certainly want to showcase during today's program, the fact that there's a little something for everybody. And I think that's one of the great elements about mm -hmm. this facility. Yes. When is it open? What are the operating hours of the Whaleville Community Center? We operate Monday through Friday, 6 a.m. to 8 p.m. and Saturday, 8 a.m. to 12 p.m. Okay. Now, that's when you're open. Now, how, if someone wanted to use the facility, what do they need to do to be able to become a member and how does that program work and what are we talking about with fees which I know are very very reasonable. Yes they are. Mm -hmm. um, you want to stop in here at our front desk mm -hmm. and speak with our office assistant Lashina Harden okay. and you'll complete a membership package. Um, for adults it's twenty dollars a year to be a member of this facility which works for any facility, any right. Suffolk Parks and Recreation facility, not just Willieville but we have East Suffolk Recreation mm -hmm. Center and also our joint use facilities. Right. Um, it's twenty dollars for an adult $10 for youth or teen, okay. and $5 for a senior for a yearly membership. Okay. Now, does that cover you for the recreation component as well as far as the workout room and stuff, or is there an additional fee for that? There's an additional fee for okay. the fitness center. Okay. But the fitness center is $10 a month, a month. for okay. adults, $5 a month for seniors, okay. and $10 a month for youth. Um, teens, I'm sorry. Okay. Because teens, the age vary. You have to be at least 17 to participate in our fitness, fitness center. Okay. Well, let's talk about some of the things that are being offered here. And again, we're standing in the lobby. So again, when you come in, this is exactly what you're going to see. And the great staff you're going to be working with when you come on out, very friendly people here. Um, a great part of our Parks and Rec program, so I want to give a plug for them as, as well. <laughs> but, you know, we come in, yeah. and then immediately to your left, we have the community room. Mm -hmm. So let's talk about what some of the activities that are going on in there. And inside of there, but did that used to be the old cafeteria here? And I should say, we're at the old side of the Robertson Elementary School. Yeah. I didn't yes. say that off the top. But what, what goes on in there? What kind of activities do we have? Well, we have a senior program, okay. which we call the Active Adults Program, which runs from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m., okay. Monday through Friday. We provide lunch Monday, Wednesday, and Friday mm -hmm. from the hours of 12 p.m. to 1 p.m. Okay. We also have activities for the adults to do. We play bingo. We also are planning for a talent show. Oh, nice. And we also have a sweetheart ball coming up, which will be at the Planners Club. Good deal. On February 11th from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. Now, the, the activities that you talked about, I mean, aside from the sweetheart ball, which I know there's a separate fee for that, yes. but as far as the membership to the facility, does that get a, a, a senior into the program where they can participate with what you're talking about as well as the lunches? Yes, it does. If the seniors pay an annual fee of $5 right. and they fill out the form mm -hmm. for the senior program, they are able to participate and receive much money when Friday. Now you talked about, I believe, a talent show? Yes. Now I know there's a stage in there. Is yes, that what you're going to be using? Okay, so that yes. sets up perfectly, right? Yes, it does. <laughs> Good deal. And a, a, some nice AV equipment in there as well that you can show, you know, uh, videos or anything oh, like that yes. as well, correct? You can listen to music. You can nice. get on the internet and watch YouTube, which, you know, you can learn a lot of things from YouTube. That's very true. Very true. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> Good deal. Now, coming back out into the lobby, Let's talk about the kitchen. Now, that's a facility. How is that going to be used at this site? As far as is that something people can rent uh, if they have an event here, which you know we'll talk about, you know, uh, facility rentals as well. How does that come into play? 
Um, at this current time, the kitchen, um, we are not going to be renting the kitchen okay. just yet. Um, we still have a little work to do. Okay. Um, but hopefully in the future we can get there. Yes. We do want to utilize the kitchen to offer um, full service lunch right. every day, just as we do at East Suffolk Recreation Center for the senior program. Correct. Um, so we're, we're getting there. Okay. Um, so I want to put a plug in. If you know anyone yes. that's interested, please right. send them to us. Very nice. Now, of course, we come back out of the kitchen and we'll talk about the gymnasium. Now, the gym is a new part of this actual building, correct? Yes, it's so the again, one. That was a section that got added mm -hmm. on, correct? It's the only yeah. addition to this building, okay. yes. Now, what, what kind of activity is going to go on in there? Obviously, it's set up for basketball, but you can do a lot more than that in there, correct? Yes, yes. we have pickleball coming up. What's pickleball? i got to stop you right there. <laughs> pickleball is a mixture between badminton, tennis, and I guess table tennis. Oh, wow, okay. So there's a net and there's a ball, a wiffle ball. Right. That you play with paddles, and the paddles are a little bigger than the table tennis gotcha. paddles. Gotcha, gotcha. But it's basically the same rules as tennis. Mm -hmm. um, we are also going to offer volleyball. Mm -hmm. We're going to have basketball, and we're also offering youth league athletics down here. Very nice. Now, what kind of flooring is in there? It's not a hardwood floor, correct? No, it's not. It's a specialized floor. It's similar to the floor that we have at East Suffolk. Right, okay. Um, but by being the only addition to the building, yes. it had to require a certain type of flooring in there. Gotcha. I don't know the name of it. That's I don't fine. Want to say it but it, but it's, a, it's kind of a soft surface, kind yes. of spongy a little yes. bit, right? Mm -hmm. I guess it's going to last a long time. Yes. And, and again, doesn't Very have the durable, wood. especially when you're playing a lot of different sports sure. in there. Sure, right. Um, the gym, however, it's not league like. I guess if you're having a, a tournament or yes. something like that, right. it's not tournament style play, okay. but we are able to get in there and at least play some type of basketball. That. So we've been talking about the gym floor and certainly, you know, connecting it to what kind of goes on in East Suffolk. But I want to mention one thing about the membership fees, and I think we covered it already. But just to be clear, if you have a membership to the Whaleyville Community Center, yes. or if you already have a membership to the East Suffolk Recreation Center, you can use either facility. Yes. Correct. Yes. As far as it, and if you have the recreation component or the or the workout component, yes, um, that covers you for both sites as well, right? That is yes. correct. So it's almost like a gym system, if you will, or a kind of a, a club that kind of gets a little bit bigger, right? That there, is right? correct. That is correct. You can use it at any facility, um, not even just East Suffolk Recreation yes. Center, but you can use it at our joint use facilities, right. which are the centers that are attached to the elementary schools. Good deal. All right. Well, we're going to leave the lobby uh, real quick, but we're going to head on into the game room and talk about. That facility and also another attachment there, I believe a computer lab that's yes. just yes. off of the game room. So we're going to go move in there real quick and give you a talk about what's going on inside that area. We're now coming to you from the game room. And when we talk about games, there are a lot of things going on in here. Uh, of course, you have the two pool tables. You have an air hockey table. You've got a ping pong table. Um, you have an Xbox One and a PS PlayStation 4? That's right. Okay, so I don't know what else you could want, but it's all here. <laughs> but let's talk about how this room is going to be used. And again, if you're a member of the Wellerville Community Center, yes. you are able to use the, uh, the amenities that are in this room, correct? Yeah, that is correct. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, as far as I believe there's also a drop-in program that's associated with this facility and eventually the gym. Is that yes. correct? Yes. Talk a little bit about what we're talking about. What is drop? What does that mean? Well, the drop-in program is for the ages from 3 to 6. Okay. And on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, they are able to come in from 9 to 11 with their parents. Okay. While their parents are working out for two hours, they can come in and play pool or play yeah. on the video games. Right. And someone will be in this room to monitor them. On Tuesdays and Thursdays, they're able to come in between the hours of 5 and 7. Okay. Along with their parents. But the only rule is that they have to their parents have to have a membership of in order for them to come to the game room. Got it. Well, again, a sparkling new facility, and I'm sure this will continue to grow as the mm -hmm. facility kind of mm -hmm. matures a little bit. But in addition to the game room, just right behind us, a computer lab. Yes. And again, now, how is that facility used? Again, if you have a membership, you can come in here and utilize the computers here. Yes. And again, you know, if you want to surf, go on YouTube, you talked about it earlier <laughs> yeah. or whatever, or just do some research. So again, again, young, old, whatever, everybody's covered because again, we all these days are using computers, That's right. using the internet, yes. have to have access to it. Um, Wi-Fi hotspot, is that, we have that going on here too for the public? Um, yes. Um, all of the computers have internet connections. We also have a printer in the um, computer lab. Very so nice. there, you need something printed okay. to see one of the staff members and right. we can assist you. Okay. But we have about seven or eight different yeah. um, little stations sure. that you can come in and get in and use a computer. We're also going to have some computer classes. Okay, very nice. Um, because we realize that we're in a community where there are a lot of mature adults, yes. active adults, yes. and they may not know how to use a computer. Right. Um, technology is the thing now, so mm -hmm. we're going to be trying to um, incorporate some classes as well with our computer lab. Very 
Very nice, very nice. And again, um, you know, the computer lab is kind of segmented off, so again, if you have all the clutter from the, or the noise from the game room, yes. everybody enjoying themselves here, you kind of have a little more privacy in there. And again, mm -hmm. you know, certainly, you know, surfing the web, you want to do what you need to do, you mm -hmm. can take care of that there. So again, a great amenity here at the Wellerville Community Center. Mm -hmm. And again, game room and the computer lab, as long as you have a membership, we're talking no charge, correct? That's right, right. that is correct. Cannot beat that, cannot beat that. No. Um, so again, what, what is the phone number here? If someone wanted to call and had a question or just maybe find out a little bit about more what's going on, What's the phone, good phone number to use? 757-514-7100. And again, we're located, right now we're on Robertson Street? Yes. And it's 132? 132, 132 Robertson, Street. Robertson Street. Again, yes. there's nice signage right there on Wellerville Boulevard, is that correct? That to is kind of come right on in. Mm -hmm. So again, you can check that out. And we're going to have more from the Wellerville Community Center when we return right after this break. Welcome back to the Wellerville Community Center, joined again by Tamara Brown and Jasmine Clark. Again, thank you for taking us on a tour of this great You're facility. Welcome. Now, before we talk about the room that we're in now, which again is, is pretty special to the facility itself, if you come to the Whaleyville Community Center and you pull up and you think, okay, now wait a minute, there's a lot of dirt, there's some activity <laughs> going around outside, let's talk about what's still to come outside of the Whaleyville Community Center that will be part of this, this, this site as a whole when everything's finished. Okay, well, we still have a little bit more grass to lay mm -hmm. um, on the edges, but of course, in the backfield, to our right, mm -hmm. um, we're going to have a trail, okay. and the trail is open. You can go out there, especially in the springtime when it's nice outside, and walk around the trail. Right. Um, we're looking in the future, hopefully, to have a playground out there okay. and also a shelter, um, nice. like a picnic, sh picnic shelter where yes. you can kind of rent if you want to have a, a cookout or yeah. a family event. Um, but that's more to come. Of course, more grass and everything. Good deal. Again, we'll, we'll let that fill. Of course, we're coming up on springtime, so now's the perfect time to be putting that grass down and getting it green and everything yes. up a little bit. Mm -hmm. You mentioned about facility rentals and things. There's a nice conference room just across the way. Yes. Um, and again, talk. is that something that people can rent or, or use as far as with a group or something that they need to? Now, the conference room, you will be able to use it if it's a community group, yes. nonprofit organization. Sure. You just need to um, see one of us right. um, and schedule it, make a facility reservation with our office assistant, Lashina Hardin. Mm -hmm. um, the rooms that are available for rental here in the building will yes. be the gymnasium yes. and the community room. Got it. Okay. Um, the room that we're actually standing in now, this room will not be av available for rentals. Right. Now, the room we're in now is called the group fitness room, yes. I believe. Group exercise group room. Group exercise room, yes. thank you. Now, mm -hmm. there's not a, one of these at East Suffolk. If people are thinking, well, you just did everything, no, no, this is different here. Again, nice <laughs> floor, you have, all, have the life cycles in the back. That's and right. again, some of the equipment we have at this facility was uh, part of a donation, correct? Yes, OBC um, Health Foundation right. um, gave us a grant, grant $250,000 worth. Two hundred and fifty thousand dollars right. worth of grant money right. um, to supply all of this equipment and, it's, of course, all of the beautiful equipment in our fitness center. Indeed, and we want to say thank you to them again for their, yes, for their efforts to keep our community healthy and again help the Willowville Community Center become what it, it, it's really just becoming today. Because again, it's still developing, as we noted, as far as what's going on outside. But as far as the type of activities that go on here, obviously we see the cycles, so we'll have that. Yes. When you talk group exercise and things, you know, we have the step over mm -hmm. here. You have some free weights over there, a little mm -hmm. hand weights. So again, this really can be a facility that can become a lot of things to a lot of different people again, correct? That's right. Yes, that's okay. right. So, I mean, what are some of the, uh, are there any kind of classes that people can sign up for? Have we started that yet, or how are we? How is that going to be coming along? We're still coming along with our planning, but sure. we are offering a cycling class. Nice. Step aerobics, and we're trying to do women on weights down here. Right. Um, we also have something for seniors, which okay. is chair aerobics and chair yoga. Okay. So, we're, we have a lot of things that will accommodate sure, right. <laughs> a lot of the community. But right now, every, nothing's finalized, but we're planning a lot for everyone. Well, again, the biggest thing is having the space and having the right equipment yeah, and the right, right staff. So now, if you want to come yeah. in and just hop on a cycle, yes. you're more than welcome okay. to do that. You don't Good have deal. to wait till the class starts. Nice. There are a lot of people. Cycling is a big thing now. Right. And it's a lot of people who actually know we're going to just make sure that you, you know, you're okay and you're safe. Correct. And Correct. you could allow the fitness center staff just right. To know that you're on the bike, but right. you're more than welcome to come in and use the bike at your free will. Very nice. And of course, you mentioned the fitness center. We're going to be moving there in just a bit. But again, great staff there to help you as far as if you need to develop a plan, an exercise plan, or a workout plan. Yes. Again, experts that know what they're doing that can help you kind of get you on the right path right there, yes. as well as, like you said, in case you're going to use some of the cycling equipment that's in here right now to make sure that you're comfortable using it, certainly safe for you and, and everybody else as well. But again, I think one of the nice components of the, of the group exercise room is the fact that it's kind of segmented by itself. Yes. It's set up, you got plenty of room in here, yes. plenty of room for a big group to <laughs> yes. come in here and do the exercise that they're going to need to do. But I think that's a nice component to add to the facility because everybody exercises in different ways. You mm -hmm. talked about the walking trail yes. that'll be coming. Again, that's a low impact. 
Yes. Um, the cycling certainly is, can be a low impact type exercise, but you know, talk about the seniors as far as the exercising with the, with the chairs and everything. Yes. Again, a nice way to kind of kind of do your thing in a, in a closed environment, working out with people, you know, and, and having a good time, which I guess That's is right. really what the community center is all about, mm -hmm. right? That's right. Good That's deal. Right. Well, let's head to the fitness center where we're going to close out the tour of the Willieville Community Center. And the fitness center is, is a very large area with a lot of great equipment and again, a great staff that can help you as far as know how to do what you need to do and also maybe again get you on the path to becoming a, a more fit yourself, so to speak. So we're going to move on over to the fitness center. We're now coming to you from the fitness center. Again, one of the really key components here at the Wellyville Community Center. Now let's talk about what some of the things that go on inside of this room. Obviously, exercise is the key. But again, the type of equipment, the type of weights, the, the variety of things that people can do in here, I think is one of the unique aspects of what mm -hmm. we're looking at, correct? Yes. Mm -hmm. Now, what are some of the things that, that the fitness staff here can assist people with if they come in, not quite sure, or maybe, the, you know, whether you're a, a veteran of working out or maybe you're new to it, what kind of some of the things that they can offer? We do have certified specialists here, okay. fitness specialists mm -hmm. to be exact, and they are able to show you how to use each machine here. Correct. Um, we do have, they do offer personal assessments, mm -hmm. and we also do offer an hour of personal training. Very nice. Also here. Just kind of get you started, right? Yes. Good deal. Good. Mm -hmm. Now from there, um, do they offer where if you need to kind of stay with a personal trainer where you can do something, again, maybe work at like a, a rate or something or a package deal that you can work with them as well? Yes, to there do that is moving a package forward. deal. Okay, good it's deal. similar to the one that we do at East Suffolk Recreation right, Center, right. Um, where I think it's ninety dollars for about ten classes. Got it. Mm -hmm. um, the fees will not change. It's pretty much we're doing the right. same thing here, right. trying to accommodate the community and the citizens. The same thing we're doing at East Suffolk, we're going to try to do here, incorporating that personal fitness. And I think one of the things, you know, sometimes you walk in an exercise facility like this, you're a little, you can be a little intimidating. Mm -hmm. I, I think I know what that is. I don't know what that is. How does it work? What, but again, the staff here, like you said, can show you how to do it, mm -hmm. use it properly, which again is key. It's not just working it because you can do it the wrong way potentially. That's and, right. But you want to make sure using it the right way, using it to your ability. Mm -hmm. And I think that's one of the things they'll make you comfortable here. And I that's think right. that's one of the things we, we've seen throughout um, from the ribbon cutting down to what we've talked about mm -hmm. today. Everybody here has a smile on their face. Everybody here is very welcoming. It's it's a very clean, very nice environment, very fresh, and again, the perfect time to get over here. You know, we're still in January, so if you're looking for that you know, new year, new you thing, <laughs> it's a perfect time to get involved here at Willieville Community Center. Now, let's talk again about what the what the costs are. Again, there's a membership fee to the actual community center, yes. and then again, a separate fee as far as if you want to use the, the exercise portion of it or the fitness portion. So let's talk about that one more time. Okay. Um, for the fitness center, it's a monthly fee. Okay. outside of your yearly fee. Right. Um, it's $10 for adults, right. it's $5 for our seniors, yes. and then it's $10 for our teens. Okay. Mm -hmm. And again, as far as the hours of operation for the for the facility. Now, yes. is the fitness center open, if the facility's open, the fitness center's open, is that how that works? The, yes. the, when the building open, it's open. open. So okay, good pretty deal. much we open Monday through Friday at right. 6 a.m. Yes. and we close at 8 p.m. And okay. then on Saturdays, 8 a.m. to 12 p.m. Again, making it convenient for people that want to work out earlier, maybe a little mm -hmm. later in the day. After you know, work. Before, that's right. That's and right. also to add with our fitness center, we yes. do have locker rooms, so we do have okay. shower capabilities. Got it. So if you're that person and want to come and work out, and after you work out, you want to head on to work, you have the opportunity to do that here. Mm -hmm. um, we have lot full service locker rooms right. with showers up the hallway. So truly a full service fitness facility. Okay. Now again, if somebody is watching the program and again they'd like more information about the community center, want to call, what's, what's again that number? The number is 757-514-7100. Okay, good deal. So again, the Wellyville Community Center, 132 Robertson Street. Yes. Uh, in the heart of Wellyville. Again, there's nice signage right there. It directs you right to the site. Uh, plenty of parking. Yes. yes. Um, so again, <laughs> come on in. Say hello to the folks here. You know, they can take you on a tour, show you around, yes. kind of see what's going on. Yes. Again, the membership fees, very, very reasonable. It's going to be tough to beat that. But again, depending upon how, what you want to get out of it. Again, That's whether right. you just want to use the game room, yes. uh, you want to come work out, you know, is that a possibility? The computer room, you need to use a conference room, or whatever. Again, plenty of amenities here at the Willowville Community Center. And ladies, I want to thank you both for joining us today, You're sharing welcome. your thank wealth you. of knowledge. And again, we encourage everyone to come on out see what's going on here and again remember that if you have the membership to East Suffolk you're already welcome at Wellyville as far as come on out and using that same membership right. here and if you get a membership here at Wellyville Community Center and you want to bring that over to East Suffolk you can do that as well That's and right. the other joint use facilities throughout the city of That's Suffolk right. that are run by our great Parks and Rec uh, staff so again ladies thank you for being with us today you're thank welcome you. and that would do it for this edition of On the Scene I'm your host Tim Kelly we'll see you again next time